All right, and welcome back, everyone. I want to cover something a little bit more serious in this short. We're actually coming close to what is called the 50th, an the 50th anniversary of the Munich Massacre, this Olympic nightmare. Uh, this is something that a lot of people may now not even be aware happened. Some people know about it, some people don't. I want to just make a quick short lecture so at least you're familiar with it. I'll add a couple links uh, of a, maybe giving you a little bit more detail than what I'm going to give you in this video. And also I have longer lectures on my channel about the entire Arab-Israeli conflict and all the stories involving that. But at least I wanted people to be aware of what happened in this darkest moment of Olympic history. And so we are approaching the 50th anniversary, 1972, as I'm recording this. So what exactly happened? Well, 1972, the Olympic Games were held in Munich. And of course, this not lost on anyone, the dark irony of this horrific event happening in Germany to the Jewish delegation, the Israeli delegation, of course, of Jewish athletes. And these athletes, you could see them all here in the, the entire team, the entire delegation, uh, were in the Olympic Village. And what had taken place was a series of events that led to the eventual death of all of them. So let me give you some details of what took place. There was a Palestinian terrorist organization known as Black September. They decided to infiltrate the, the Olympic Village. They got in there and they took control of the, the place where the Jewish athletes were held, Israeli delegation. They held them hostage at first, and then they put out all these demands. We want, you know, Israel to release prisoners that they had. And of course, you know, this whole concept of you just don't negotiate with terrorists and all of that. But there was some negotiations. And after some negotiations, the terrorists took the Israeli delegation and they moved them first from a bus. Then they got on helicopters and eventually they ended up uh, in a near air base near the Olympic Village. All of this is happening in a pretty small area. Uh, and again, this is all taking place over a couple of days, September 5th and September 6th, at which point when they finally get to this uh, air base, the German police decided they were going to try to ambush them and get the hostages free. Uh, there's a bit of controversy about this because the German police force has been said not to have been as well trained as the German military and uh, people said maybe with German military should have been the ones dealing with this. And it turned out to be a horrific debacle. Uh, the hostages were all killed and it was this horrific moment in Olympic history. When this took place, the Olympics did decide that they were going to, you know, suspend the Olympics for 24 hours. There were some people, of course, suggested at the time even that they should just cancel the Olympics. I mean, the whole point of the Olympics is this peaceful event where people are supposed to put their political events on the side and just compete as athletes. And uh, this was it was a very harsh thing for people to even continue with the Olympics after that. Uh, another interesting side note on the 40th anniversary of the Munich conference during those Olympic Games, Israel went to the Olympic Committee and said, can we have a moment of silence for the people who were massacred during the 1972 Olympics? And the Olympic Committee denied them that moment of silence. And this is still something that people in Israel and many people in the Jewish community still are aware of. And there's still a bit of animosity between you know, Israel and Jewish community and the Olympic Committee because of that, because they wouldn't even give them a moment of silence on the 40th anniversary. After all of this unfolded, this group Black September went on to do some other things. They hijacked the plane, they're involved in other terrorist activity. And so a little bit more to the story, the Prime Minister of Israel at the time, Golda Meir, uh, of course, furious of what had happened to her athletes, to her, her countrymen, uh, instituted in something called Operation Wrath of God. And what this was, was to actually have the Israeli secret forces, the Mossad, go and find the people responsible for the massacre and assassinate them. Uh, there was a movie done by Steven Spielberg back in 2005 called Munich. Uh, I don't want to ruin the movie for anybody, but yes, it deals with kind of this guy who's going around trying to find them, but also the emotional impact and everything that it does to try to do something like that. So it's an interesting movie. And so this, of course, created a lot of tension, even more so tension between Israel and the Palestinian people in that area. In you know, 1973, there were some peace talks that were taking place. And, you know, Israel was like, well, we're not going to be talking with the Palestinians right after that because this was right on the heels of the Munich massacre. 
So hopefully this gave you a little bit of information about this event, something you kind of know a little bit more about now. Uh, again, I'll link a couple of um, uh, sites where it gives you a little bit more detail. And of course, you can always watch my lectures uh, on other events regarding anti-Semitism and events regarding Israel and the Middle East. I have a lot of lectures on my site on that as well. All right, hope that's clear for everyone and you found this interesting. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.